Hey guys, it's Gunrunner7271. We're, uh, it's almost New Year's, 2013. A couple of days. Um, probably release this on New Year's Day. Um, boy, 2012 was kind of a whirlwind year for us. Um, had a parting of the ways with an old significant other and who wasn't a prepper. And when you don't live with a prepper and you're a prepper, it's very hard to get things done that you need critical to do. Um, I'll keep this short and sweet. I'm going to try to keep this under five minutes. Um, I got with Prepper Ariane, who has four kids, two of which are an adult and uh, that don't live with us. And she has two other kids by second marriage, who is uh, 12 and 7. Uh, girl 12, boy 7, who you've probably seen in some of the videos. Um, you know, we it's important every year to take a look at where you are, where you've been, and where you want to go. Where I was was in a bad relationship with a non-prepper. Got with Prepper RN, who's a nurse, that kills one bird, and she's also an extreme couponer, which helps to kill a second bird food. Okay, so our medical and our food are taken care of, and uh, more importantly, you know, Prepper and I are on the same page. You know, she understands I bring certain things to the prepping table, and she brings some other things to the prepping table. We try to cross train each other to some success, might I add. Um, <clears throat> I've become better at medical, and she's become better at at uh, combat sciences so um, you know we we do we complement each other very well and I didn't just get with her because I met her on the street corner I actually went to high school with Prepper RN and I wish she was our sweet was my high school sweetheart but I didn't notice her in high school and it was truly a mistake on my part <laughs> um, when I think of what have we've gone through and, and uh, singly and what we should have gone through together um, we would have been far better and far farther ahead but you know God has a plan and when he closes one window or one door he always opens another some people aren't smart enough to see what door he's opening but he always opens another it's all part of God's plan and I look at that that way every day um, boy let's get right to 24 2013. In 2013, we're going to plant a garden, a nice garden. Buck Run 11 is our garden specialist, and with the help of uh, him and a few other people locally, I will be able to plant a halfway decent garden. I'm going to hopefully plant more than one garden. Um, I'd like one here at the house, and but I don't want to take away from our horse pasture. Um, I'd like one off-site. I'd like one somewhere like another relative's property and maybe help have them help and split some of the, the stuff. Um, we're going to get more prepared by increasing our ammo production. Just got this yesterday. It's a, we're involved in a cooperative an ammo cooperative now and uh, we all <laughs> cow breaks itself um, we all have a certain ammo speciality I've got room out in the garage in the shop there so we all now have a ammo cooperative and rather than pay exorbitant prices and be at the whim of a lot of BS at gun shows and or gun shops and those cheaper than dirt folks who not so cheap um, we decided we would produce our own ammo and know what's going into each and every round. So um, while we still do buy ammo if it's cheap enough, we buy lots of components, lots of powder, lots of primers, lots of projectiles um, of various calibers. But just know that we're having an ammo cooperative now. And uh, that allows us to shoot, that allows us to train, and that allows us to save a lot of money. Uh, my group, 
in 2013 we want to make sure our group is is trained and when I say my group my group consists of uh, let's see her mom and dad my mom and dad my sister and her kid her brother and his significant other and his four kids um, I have an aunt an uncle another uncle with four kids um, photo 6969 said he might drop by if he can make it this far because he lives in the city um, and his significant other and then there's some satellite friends and family that may drop by my my point here is that we're not any when I keep mentioning my group we're not a militia hell we're mostly untrained my dad's ex-military and you know um, I'm ex ex military so you know we're mostly untrained and in saying that you have so many women so many children of uh, over 12 so many children under 12 so many people within a certain parameter that are able to get out and physically fight you know like hold the line you know pick up a weapon you know you need to assess that my, my point with all that was my assessment today is you know we're not a we're not going to go looting and pillaging other villages we stay within the confounds of our own property and uh, you know having said that we're I just want to make sure everybody understands we're not militia types and we're not training for militia activity we are in fact just trying to pr protect our own property you know um, that's about it so my main goal is to feed and protect my group of people and uh, you know in 2014 I want to add bees and hell who knows the way things are going with milk prices are gonna projected to go with milk prices I may just add a cow in too um, my son my seven-year-old thinks that we have a cow out back and you know he magically produces milk every day he'll drink out of house and home and milk and chocolate milk so um, those are our goals. I just try to keep them simple. I work every day, and uh, you know, my my prepper Ariane and I we're getting married on uh, Memorial Day weekend, and uh, we're just trying to keep our trying to keep our our family together and our way of life, and uh, which is not extravagant. We have a boat and a camper, and that's our only luxuries. You know, we have a decent TV, if you can call that a luxury. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to keep our, our way in life. We're trying to keep our family safe. And uh, trying, we're, not, we're not, we're just average people with average goals and dreams. The difference between us and the rest of the world is we actively try to do things to protect our way of life and not sit and take it like sheep. Um, we're, we're not sheep. Um, she's a sheep dog and I'm a Rottweiler wish full thinking um, my attempt at humor no um, you know that's all we have in mind and you know what if we get through 2013 and we're a little bit better off than I I have no complaint I met one of the most wonderful women in the world and uh, she's gonna be in my corner forever so um, getting two more new kids that's great and I also get two stepsons so that's great too um, you know, so it's a good, it's a good, it's a win-win for everybody. Listen, uh, I'll keep you, as usual, I'll keep all you guys up to date on our, on our little homestead here. We're going to name it Tiny Acres. There'll be a sign out front called Tiny Acres. So, um, you know, we're doing okay and we hope you guys are all doing okay. Um, look for Prepper RN to show you a bunch of more about Extreme Couponing. And uh, my God, we're just we're just trying to live every day and have a little fun doing it. And our K9 kids and our human kids add for some entertainment and uh, the ability to love and love you know someone to love us. So um, listen. 
We live in a very dangerous world and a very ugly world right now. May God bless you all, and may you all stay prepped.